Hi everyone, um, so this is my camping um, beauty essentials. I've already done my makeup one if you want to have a look at that. Um, and this is what I kind of have in my, um, make not my makeup bag, sorry, my toiletries bag. So it's my skincare and my other toiletries. And then I've got some other like camping essentials, things that I carry around with me that are kind of beauty related. Um, so let's start off with sun cream. As you can probably see, there is three bottles of sun cream here. Um, I cannot stress enough, if you can go in camping or to a festival and you can be outside a lot of the time, you need to bring all the sun cream. Um, and I actually tend to have, I'll have one in my tent that I'll put on in the morning, I'll have a little one which I can put in my bag and top up, and then I put this somewhere, this one that's somewhere easy reach just to top up. Um, this is like the clear one from Garnier. And this actually isn't too bad to put on over your makeup if you're in a pinch. Oh, uh, and you need to tip up top up sorry during the day or top up over another sun cream it's quite light it's very very high in alcohol so be aware if you spray it on your face it's gonna sting if you have your eyes open and then I've got the Hawaiian Tropic satin protection which is the little one I got in the glamour box just a little nice dinky one and then I've got the pink spoon ultra dry touch sun fluid in SPF 30 and they're all SPF 30 um, and then deodorant, shower gel, uh, so that's the Dove deodorant, and just a little body shop, um, mango shower gel. I always keep little shower gels like this for when I'm travelling. Um, I've got a little beauty protector shampoo which was in Birchbox a little while ago. Um, little dinky toothpaste that you get from the, when you go to the dentist, I always save these as well. And uh, this little hair gel which is for my partner. I got that from Body Care. I think it was about 70p. Um, a little dinky dry shampoo. This is the Philip Kingsley one. Um, I actually prefer the Batiste, um, particularly in the brown. But I haven't got any a uh, little one of that one at the minute. So I'll be taking that with me. Um, I've got the Janjira Argan Oil Hand Wash. Uh, which was in the British Beauty Vlogger box because um, quite often there isn't soap at festivals. They might have water but they might not, um, necessarily have soap so it's a good idea to bring some soap yourself. Uh, and then for skincare I've got the Vichy Idelia face cream which is a little travel size. I've got the Oroco Transcend serum which I got in my Beauty Discovery box a while ago. Um, this is alright, it's quite nice. Um, I've got a little Cordially eye cream, which I got a trial set of this uh, polypenthanol uh, range. Um, I, if anybody's interested, I'll do a review of this because it had the eye cream, a serum and a face cream. Um, if you, anybody's interested in me doing a review of that, let me know. Uh, and then I've got a little tiny L'Occitane Shea Butter Hand Cream, um, a little sachet of the L'Oreal Elvive Extraordinary Oil. Um, I use this if my hair's getting a bit dry and frizzy. Um, I don't always use it, but um, that's why I like having a little sachet just in case I do need it. When I'm travelling I don't have to take um, a bottle of hair oil just in case. And then just bog standard. Well this, this is a curl comb, you see it doesn't have very many teeth. And it's kind of got like a fish tail end. You can use this to separate your hair as well. Um, it's much better than a normal comb for curly hair or even a brush. It just kind of teases it out but it doesn't make your hair frizzy. Uh, this is really old, I have no idea where I got it from. In fact it's even got all sorts on it. Okay. So my cleansing things I tend to keep separately from my main makeup bag. I tend to keep it in like the end of my whole doll bag, somewhere that's really easy to grab. Because I think if you're going to wash your face properly um, you'll either need to go and boil some water or go to a wash block um, and when you go to bed on a night I just use wipes because it's normally really dark you can't be bothered to go and wash your face properly so um, I would use wipes on the night and then in the morning I always make sure that I give my face a proper wash I'll boil some water and um, have a proper wash and I'm bringing the DHC deep cleansing oil because um, I found this came off really easily and the thing with I normally use the hot cloth method of cleansing um, but it's difficult to dry the flannels 
when you take them and um, I've discovered that before so what I've found is these kind of cloths these are made from like a cellulose they're almost like dispos disposable flannels they don't like disintegrate when you get them wet so I use them but they're not quite as effective as a normal mu muslin cloth and these are the um, Kleenex facial cloths um, cotton touch and I'm not sure whether they're discontinuing these. I've found it more and more difficult to get them. Um, the last time I've got them it was from Savers, um, which isn't necessarily a good sign. It normally means stuff's going out of stock. Um, and they were only 70p, so I bought three boxes. So that should keep me going for a long time. So, yeah, I use them. And they're really handy because you can just chuck them away once you're done. Or you could just uh, wet them and put a bit of soap on just to wash your hands or give yourself a quick, quick wipe down. Then I've got my toner, which is I've decanted into this little bottle which had um, something else in it. And my toner is the Beats Botanics Cleansing Toner, or an All Bright Cleansing Toner, which is a um, AHA acid serum. Not acid serum, so acid toner. So it's got um, benzoic acid in there, so it's good for acne. Um, getting rid of red marks of um, acne, clearing out your skin, clearing out your pores. I've been, this is my second bottle now, I do quite like this. Um, so yeah, I've got a little bit of that to count it into a spray bottle and I'll just spray it onto a cotton pad. And the top of the actual bottle is like a dropper, but I just find it's easy to spray it out. Actually this needs refilling. And then I'll put on some cotton rounds and then just in case I can't have, really struggle to get my eye makeup off I've got a little bottle of my, my cellular water this isn't actually Bioderma, I finished that a while ago um, I just actually refill the bottle with the L'Oreal Paris my cellular water and as you can see I've only got a tiny bit left um, when I run out of this I'll be getting the Garnier one because ingredients wise are almost identical but the Garnier one is twice the size for the same price so, yep. And then I would keep all these things in um, like a plastic sandwich bag and I keep it, these all together in the same bag just at the end of my hold all and then just with these, with some wipes. Um, I don't actually like these wipes to make my eyes sting um, but I'm going to finish, I paid for them so I'm going to finish them. Uh, I normally like the Nivea, the blue wipes. They don't sting my eyes. Um, I do really struggle trying to find wipes that don't sting my eyes. I can't use the simple ones. There's various other ones. Um, there hasn't, isn't many that I've found that don't sting my eyes. And unfortunately these do, even though they say hypoallergenic. Okay, so the things that I always carry around with me uh, when I'm camping or at a festival or something um, in my bag, I always have some instant sanita hand sanitizer because uh, you ca quite often can't wash your hands properly or if you can wash your hands, the water isn't hot, um, so you, hand sanitizer is a must. And this is just a cheap one. I, don't, I just bought it at a vendor when I was at the last, uh, the last time I went camping. Then I've got the Balance Me Radiance Face Oil. Um, this size rollerball is about ten pound. I've had this for a really long time now. Um, I don't use it every day as a face oil, though. If you did want to, it's perfectly nice. The thing I like about this is it is, you can use it on your face, you can use it on your cuticles, you can use it as a moist body moisturiser if you really need to. Um, I've also put it in my hair in a pinch as well and it works fine for everything. It's really nice texture and though £10 sounds a lot for, how many mils is this? For 10 mils, so a pound a mil, it does sound a lot. But this has lasted me for a really, really long time, and the fact it's so multi-use, I normally keep it in my handbag because it's just good for anything when you need it, and it's much lighter than some of the other multi-purpose balms you might use, and it's got a really good ingredients because it's designed for skincare. Sorry about that. Because it's designed for skincare, um, you can use it on your face, and it won't break you out or anything. You just need a tiny bit, um, but it's really good that. Uh, then some Kleenex shine absorbing blotting sheets. 
Um, again, I don't know whether they're discontinuing these, but these are excellent as well. These have like a kind of plasticky film on them rather than the powder, and so they pick up oil really, really well. Um, but they don't mess up your makeup. Um, if you take the, this is a brand new pack, but if you take the sticky bit off there, it just picks out a single wipe for you rather than you trying to get them out from all this lot. How many? There's a lot in here, probably about 50, something like that. And you just blot it all over and it just removes any oil. And particularly when it's really hot like this, like it has been for the last few days, in England, a few weeks to be honest, um, you can dab your oil off, oil off your face and then powder, uh, rather than just kind of making it, your makeup into a cakey mess. And these are really good and they don't disturb your makeup. Um, so I'll be keeping them on me. And then a Swiss Army knife, just if you're camping you always need it. It's got scissors, knife. Beer spanner, corkscrew, little screwdrivers. So yeah. Okay, and lastly, I'm just going to show you quickly um, the makeup bags that I take everything in. Um, this one is brand new from. I've just got it from Muji. It's got a separate brush compartment uh, with some little pockets in here. There's a pocket on the outside, and then on the other side, it's got some smaller compartments for like lipsticks and things and um, there's a big elastic-y one on the bottom and as you can see I've put the primer potion in now. So yeah, um, I've been looking for a makeup bag which had brush compartments for a while because it's really difficult to find something that you can get your brushes in um, that isn't going to damage them when you're travelling. And the space for four in there and you could get um, two brushes in one of the holes, so you could probably get five or six brushes in there. So yeah, that's quite good. And um, it was even on sale, even better. And then for the rest of my skincare beauty stuff, uh, this is an old Soap and Glory bag that I got free with when I bought a skincare set a long time ago now. Uh, but Soap and Glory's bags, they quite often do them when they have the Christmas gifts, gift sets. And you can see this is really well sized, you can get so much stuff in it. Uh, and it doesn't really feel round, and when you zip it up, it's quite soft and squishy, so it's good you can kind of contort it into whatever shape you've got left in your bag. So yeah, that is everything. Um, what do you take camping? I'd like to know. Have a good evening everybody, and thank you for watching. Bye!